Hey everybody, it's Chef Brad, your tropical cooking maven and expert. I know it's been a while, things have been going on, but we're back with you. And I'm happy to have another wonderful tropical dessert today. And assisting is our, our friend here, little, little Chef Brad. Uh, here's a gift from Paul several years ago as I enjoy collecting uh, nutcrackers and uh, He's going to be joining us on all our future videos as our mascot. Today's recipe features several types of tropical spices. We're going to have cinnamon, cloves, ginger, and molasses, which comes from sugar cane. This is Grandma Scobie's molasses ginger cake. The first step is to take one teaspoon of baking soda and adding it into one cup of molasses and stir that around pretty well and incorporate it in there and what will happen is it's going to have a chemical reaction in which the baking soda will begin to foam up and this will double in size as you will see in a couple of minutes. Oops, well, you know sometimes you gotta make a mess to make a delicious dessert. Okay, now you can see that our one cup of molasses with the teaspoon of baking soda has now increased double its size. Now this is because molasses contains lactic acid, the same as is in buttermilk. And when the baking soda interacts with the molasses, it forms carbon dioxide bubbles, hence the double in volume, and it acts pretty much the same way as adding yeast, let's say, to flour to make bread or rolls, etc. rise. So we're just going to go ahead and add our baking soda mixture, our baking soda and molasses mi mixture, I should say, to our dry ingredients. To this, we're going to add one half tablespoon of either fresh grated ginger, or I enjoy using just a ginger puree that comes in a tube. You can keep it fresh in the refrigerator and it lasts for months. And since it is a paste, <laughs> it doesn't like to come out easily. 
Just go ahead and mix all of this up together nicely. It's going to be very, very thick. So if you're thinking, oh my goodness, this is too, too thick. I got to add something to it. Don't do it. I have greased a 9x9 nine nine bake pan and we'll just go ahead and we'll pull this little, pour this lovely batter right in there. Mm. Now for those of you who say, oh I really don't like coffee, I don't drink coffee, coffee will keep me awake. This is not that kind of recipe. You're not going to taste the coffee directly in here. It's strictly a liquid volumizer, if you will. But if you really don't want to, you can also go ahead and use buttermilk in this recipe. We'll go ahead and bake our molasses cake at 350 degrees, which is 177 Celsius, a moderate oven, for about 30 minutes and then we're going to start testing it with a cake tester. And we don't want the cake tester to come out dry like you would with a normal cake. You want to come out with a little stickiness on it because it will continue baking after you take it out and you do want the center to be a little bit moist and gooey and so delicious. Okay, our 30 minutes have transpired. We're going to go ahead and test our cake. Ah, looks beautiful. Sunk in a little bit in the center, which is good. Ah, just right. Nothing says love in like something from the oven and custom breads. There's ten of the food maven says it says that I'm bump. I'm just an interloper. Interloper and Brad say, we will see you when the cake cools and we can cut it. Ooh. Bye. Wow, Brad, this is, I haven't had this for a while. I love your grandmother's spices cake. Oh. Hey, everybody. Oh, hi, we didn't see you come in. <laughs> what a nice surprise, woo. <laughs> So this cake really came out perfect. It's gorgeous. And to let you know when you bake it, I think you saw from the picture before, it looks a little sunk in the middle. Well, that's that's what you're exactly looking for. It's nice and moist. Very moist. Mm. And okay. awfully delicious. The smell is to die for. smell of vision coming soon to a YouTube channel near you. Wow, wow. Well, uh, shall I'm, we try it? I, I really am looking forward to this. I, I have been wanting this cake for so long, and it's mm -hmm. just so, so delicious. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Has a little kick to it with the ginger, but it's nicely mellowed out by the molasses that is a deep flavor. Yeah. And it counterbalances each other real nice. I, I, I can say so. For yep. sure it does. Yeah. So, thank you, Grandma. Mm. And as we enjoy this, mm. if you like this, even if you don't, <laughs> give it a thumbs up. No, you would like subscribe it. Subscribe to us, tell your friends. And also let me know if you like this format a little better than the other cooking videos that I did. Yeah. That way I'll keep doing it this way, or if you'd rather have where... We have more conversation, but it takes a lot longer to <laughs> go through our video. Yeah, this, so, is, this is not a stand-up comedy show. This is a show of reality. So Brad, when he needs to concentrate on his cooking, I certainly want to you know, not be interfering with a lot of wise 
practice. I, I love Lucy Wood, so, you know, that's, I think it's a very good idea. Okay, on that note, I'm trying to keep it short. And of course, as we always say in the end of the show, mm -hmm. you're the best friend you'll ever know, so make sure you take care of yourself. That's right. Bye now. Bye. Mmm. Oh, my goodness. So tasty. Mm-hmm.